All right, guys, I just clocked a car coming northbound at 133. We're going to try and intercept. It was like a black and red with a blue underglow. I assume he would have continued. Um, that's... I'm going to be out in the way station with a out the way. red in color two-door sports car. Is this our car? Is this the car we want? That's him. Yep, he's going to jail. San Andreas 535 will be out with him. 133 miles per hour. 133 miles per hour. Oh, is that? Okay, so you got the higher number there. I got 114 sitting on my radar right now. Mm-hmm. Coming past Pillbox Medical. Well... You gotta roll down your windows, man. Oh no. Hey, uh. Trevor Thornton with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. License, registration, and proof of insurance. Oh no. I mean, alright. What, what, yeah, what'd you get him? Good. That's irrelevant at this time. Uh, okay. Mask, what I'm being stopped for. What's the name on the ID? It's Elwood Belushi. Yep, go ahead, go ahead and switch the car off for me. Oh, All right. Great. And then you can go ahead and step out and, for, and do not face the trooper beside you. I, I at least want to know what I did before I stepped step out. Step out of the vehicle now. Can I step out of the vehicle so I don't get shot? You're not gonna get shot, just step out of the vehicle, sir. And let me let me get my seatbelt off. Right, walk backwards to the charger. Back backwards? So walk over to the charger, you don't have to walk backwards. You're not under arrest at the moment. Things may change. The moment. You're not under arrest, you're being detained. Alrighty, I'm assuming you want to go ahead and search me. Have you got anything on that's going to stick by or hurt us? I mean, I have a pistol. Whereabouts? My waistband. What do you think you're being stopped for? Speeding. What, what kind of speeding would you say? Uh, like 20, 30 over. Do you know the speed limit? I mean, just a... No, sir. 70 miles per hour is the speed limit. How fast do you think you were going? 100? Yeah, maybe add 33 onto that. 133 miles per hour past Pillbox Medical, which is a 45. Alright, now that... Sorry, what? I don't think that's at all right. I, I don't think that's right at all. What's right? 130? She's got you! Wherever. She's got you at 114! Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Alright, walk back towards my car. Oh, right. Go ahead and take a seat. Wait, you want me, you want me to sit in? Yep. Well, I make my mind up what I'm going to do with you. Is there anything in that car we should know about? Uh, I have uh, 
I mean, I have a golf club. If you don't mind me uh, asking, Troop, uh, what's your name? Trooper Thornton. What you got, Callahan? Thornton? Like the gas station? Uh, uh, nothing. Um, I was just, he has one charge on his record, but it's a misdemeanor. Because I know he had a firearm, so I was just double checking. What sort of charge? Uh, leaving the scene of an accident. Hmm, good. What accident? So you got him at 114 and I got him at 133, so... Sir, what's one good reason why you shouldn't go to jail today? Well... Yeah, I, The vehicle's new, I'm just kind of... This is, this is like my first time driving it, so... I mean... I guess I didn't really pay too much attention to my speed. Just trying to get a feel for the thing, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm still new to driving that thing there. Is the car registered, Callahan? Yeah, the car comes back to him. I'm honestly thinking about suspending his license. That's ridiculous. Failure to yield to a traffic device. Failure to yield to a traffic device. Clear. Closing. Probably AI. Dude, if you were doing 100 and 114, I could, I could just give you a traffic citation, but 133? So this is, this is what makes me wonder. Okay, I clocked you doing 133 right on the, right on the borderline of the 4570, like you must have been cruising through the city to even be already at 133 right at that bridge that goes from 45 to 70. Listen, you'd be surprised how fast that thing can go in just a few seconds. You understand though that I can't, I just, mean, I, you that... can't just get a citation for this, right? Yes, sir. Do you know how many traffic accidents we attend of people recklessly driving and speeding and they just end up dead and we've got to go there and look at it all and deal with that? And here's you, driving around 133 miles County per hour. Does your friend have a license who's in the car? What was that? Does your passenger have a license, a valid driver's license? Uh, yeah, he does. Do you want to grab his ID, Kella? Oh, where'd she go? Oh, she's there. Yeah, I can go grab his license. Yeah. Alright, this is probably what's going to happen, because there's no other way. You're doing... 63 miles over the speed limit. What was that, miss? There's not a whole lot I can do yeah, here I'll... for you. You're doing 63 miles over the speed limit. It's reckless endangerment. I mean, it's it's aggressive, careless driving. It's... <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'm new to driving the thing. Is is there somewhere you're in a hurry few... to get to, or are you just taking it for a spin because it's a new car? I'm just taking it for a spin. I'm pretty much just being a douchebag with the thing, but... Well, I'm going to be real honest with you, man. I, I, I reckon that's going to be your last spin with the car. Because I'm, I could take you to jail right now, and we don't even have to pass go. I might be nice and maybe write you up a court summons and, and suspend your license now, so that way you can go with your friend. Um, but that's probably the nicest thing I can do for you right now. I, I can't even give you a citation for that. Well, I'm fine with my license being suspended. So I tell you what, I'll put in the application to suspend your license. I'll give you a court summons. I won't take you to jail, but you still have to go to court and see a judge. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Alright, so there's no jail time unless the judge decides to, but for right now it's just going to be a court summons, your license will be suspended, so you won't be able to drive anymore, okay? For probably a few months, six months probably is, I think, the minimum. Alright? Alright, I miss... Jeez. <sighs> Northbound route... 
this guy. I mean, so can my, uh, so can my buddy at least drive until we get to wherever we need to be and then back, then we can take his truck. I mean, if this trooper says he has a valid you license can. and it's not suspended or anything like yours is about to be, then sure. He has a valid license. Alright. Alright. So, I'm going to write out this court summons. Um, this trooper actually might, I uh, might let you out the other side, this trooper might take the cuffs off you and then you're going to stand right there and I'm going to print out this um, whole report and then you'll be able to go with um, the passenger who's going to drive the car for you, okay? Alrighty. Jeez. It's misdemeanor 2, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So 20,000. Hundred and thirty-three, though, like, phew. And that's like right under the tunnel when I clocked him. Like, the speed he must have been cruising through the city. All right, go ahead and step out for me. There you go. All right. I need a signature here at the bottom of this um, court summons. It's for aggressive, careless, and reckless driving. It's a twenty thousand um, dollar fine. But like I said, you won't be going to jail right away. You have to go and see the judge, okay? Add this posted date on here, okay? Alright. You're no longer permitted to drive. Your license is currently suspended. Do you understand? Okay. Yes, sir. You get caught driving, and I guarantee you, the next cop won't be so nice. You'll be down in the cell. You understand? Yes, sir. Alright, I'm going to keep the blue copy. You keep the yellow copy. And we'll go and tell your passenger what's going on, I guess. Alright. You might just want to back away for a sec, Callahan. Average. Alright, that's your fine. Yeah, you're fine. Ugh, you're fine. It was just sent to your phone. Um, you don't have to pay it right now, but if you don't pay it, a, um, a warrant will be placed out for your arrest, you understand? Yes, sir. All right, let's go over here. Unbelievable. What's the passenger's name? Uh, Bill Turner. Mr. Turner, can you step out of the vehicle for me? Uh, yeah, I can. Hold on, let me take my seatbelt off. He said he has a valid license. Yes, he does. You happy to drive Despite this gentleman's the, uh... car for you? For him, I should say. I mean, I can. All right. Currently, your friend's license here is now suspended. Um, he's not going to jail. He's, Good job. I he's, told you we should have tried. He's drive. welcome to go back with you. He's no longer permitted to drive. He's got to go to court in the next couple of weeks to get it all sorted out. So, are you willing to drive him home or whatever needs to be done here? Yeah, I'll be able to drive him home. I mean, as long as I keep my license. Okay. All right. You guys are free to go. Cool, thanks. And my name to say the blue light pattern is beautiful on that Durango. So here's your gun, by the way, as well. Yes, it's a beautiful car, right. and it probably um, would have kept up with you if you had a run. So I'm very glad that you guys did the safe thing and pulled over. I mean, I yelled at him like four separate times to pull over, but yeah. Good. All right, you're free to go. Hope I mean, even if again. I ran, you guys wouldn't have found me. Okay, just All get right. back in the car, let's go. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> I, I keep your mouth shut, dude. I, I'm cutting you a huge break. Yes, sir. Alright, are we free to go? Yeah, you better learn from this. I will. fucking learn, because I swear to God. Alright, start driving. 
Oh, I just remembered he had blue underglow on that friggin' thing too. Oh well. Yeah, well. He's lucky he didn't go to jail. I mean, yeah. Speeding, a little bit of reckless driving. I, I'm, I would have been interested to know how fast he's going past Pillbox, because I caught him right under the bridge. You know the bridge that goes past Pillbox? Like, it's like the 4570, like it clicks into one. Yeah, Oof. like, yeah, right between the two. He's lucky I didn't get him for nearly doing 100 over the speed limit. Yeah, that would have, that would have not looked good. No, no it would not have. Alright, thanks for um, catching up to him though. I, by the time I got past the medium and I all that and did a U-turn, I was long behind. I was sitting in the median, like right over there when I caught him doing 113. I don't know how he didn't see me. And then he dipped over the way station, which I thought was weird, but maybe he just thought uh, he screwed. He saw me. Yeah, all good. Thanks for the backup. Yep. Be safe. Me too, Chief. You too, Chief. <laughs> Alright, we're going to be 10 8 off that. Hopefully they learn their lesson. Probably not. But who knows? San Andreas three twelve twenty back to me. San Andreas five three five, same traffic. So we'll get back out on the street and we are ten eight. And it's like my lights on. Tango Romeo 1, 1031, we're going northbound west of Cliffs Boulevard. It's going to be a blue and black two-door sports car rear spoiler. Left turn, turn, we're going to be going eastbound Boulevard Del Perro. Still continuing eastbound, coming up towards Harwick. TR1 lost eyes, believe he's still going eastbound on Harwick, speeds in excess of 100. TR1 be advised it was a black with I believe a red pearlescent rear spoiler two door sports car. Wow, looks like we got some racing going on everyone. I don't know where he went, I think it's quick. Here comes one. Yeah. TR2, hold. TR1, be advised, we have an orange Camaro. Harwick Ave. There's supposed to 580. Rear spoiler. Gonna be going southbound on Ulta. It's 1031. Going southbound on Ulta. Gonna be making a left hand turn. Gonna be left turn. We're going eastbound integrity. Going towards pillbox through the tunnel. Going northbound 13. Still going northbound 13, approaching Vinewood Park Drive. Oh, the, there's a huge straight race, street race going on or something. TI when I've lost eyes. Be advised it's going back southbound Vinewood Park Drive on the exit. It's gonna rear end me, yep. Jesus. So one who guys on the uh, yellow Camaro southbound, Harry speed, lights off. Southbound third. I've got another one beside me, it's gonna be a jester by the looks of it with uh, markings all over it for atomic. Fair to yield blacked out as well. We're going southbound 13. Air one, do you wanna track your one? 
we lost eyes on the Camaro was making a turn. We've still got a gesture though, it's up on our pillbox now. Oh, bit of lag. Check it uh eastbound, westbound turn, sorry, westbound turn on to um standby San Andreas Avenue. Alright, so we're taking a left turn now, southbound on Power Street, lower power street. Southbound on Power Street. Left turn. To be eastbound Innocent Boulevard, opposite lane. So nearly head on with the vehicle. Past um, post 133 now, northbound again, northbound on Elgin Avenue. Again, now after this prick. Still going north on Elgin Avenue. Left turn, it's going to be now westbound on Spanish, oh, sorry, Occupation Avenue, westbound Occupation. Northbound turn from Occupation on La Laguna Boulevard, I believe. I'm out. That's way too reckless. TR1, we're going to 1066 the pursuit if anyone wants to track. Tempo, we'll track. 513. It's currently stopped near Postal 504. Making a U turn. 504. Now northbound again on Strangeways Drive, coming up on Eclipse Boulevard. Took a left turn. You're with him. Can be southbound now on to. Um, Rockford Drive. Taking a westbound turn, westbound turn on um, Boulevard Del Perro, still failure to yield. Lower speeds now. Go TR2. TR1 secondary. We're re engaging if the speed okay. stayed this slow. Uh, vehicles crashed. Postal 655. Postal 655. Final stop. TR2, this vehicle is occupied. Correction, TR1, this vehicle is occupied. Times 2 rolls to units 1018. Air yeah, one, we have this guy if you want to try and find another one of those other three street races. Careful, breaking off. TR2, you got commands. We've got one running, red helmet, black suit. He's gone behind the hedge. Make sure everyone on team. Went, in. went inside the garage area. We lost eyes. We'll try and check. Uh, if you can Step out. out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle with your hands up. Step out now! Shot fired. Face away! Face away! Do not move! Watch the down. Throw medical. TR1, one in and custody. I'm stacked with you, I'm stacked with you. You got anything on your side? This is a crossfire nightmare. nightmare. God, no! Alright, we're gonna get her the fuck Going out. Going out of the right. Oh, that was the wrong one. Send Rage, you can show those scenes secure. Clear rolling medical. Just ignore the fact that I have some pocket. Little fake pocket bent kits. I was supposed to freaking provide bandages for people to get hurt, but eh, you know, you know what they say. All right, go ahead and sit down for me. Facing you or away from you? Doesn't matter. Just sit down. What are you doing? This is uncomfortable.
racing. Why? I don't know, it's just... I, well, someone freaking wants to post about it all over Facebook, so... Got a little group together, we went racing. How many of you... How many of the cars like, is there? Uh, four, okay. total. San Andreas TR1, be advised, uh, the subject I have here claims there's four vehicles. We have one in custody, so there's still three outstanding. One of them being that yellow Camaro. Alright. Who's your friend? Hmm? That's... Oh, it's something. I don't know his last name. Alright. TR1, can I get an officer over here just to watch my subject while I move He my wrecked car? out his car, so technically then there's two of them out. You can just throw them in the back of the car. He's ready to go on yours? Yeah, just put him in the MR. Alright, go ahead and step up for me. Alright, in you get, watch your head. What's your name? I probably wanted to take this helmet off first, but... Hmm? What's your name? Sydney Calebson. Alright, step out. I actually will remove the helmet for you, make it a bit more comfortable. Oh yeah, when it's kind of forcing my head down on my shoulders. It's a little pain. Alright, there you go. Step back in. We got one of them. We only stuck with that one because he ended up going, well, she ended up going a lot slower. Um, so that's the only reason we kind of stayed with that pursuit. Air one tracked and then she, I think she realized that they weren't getting away because we were everywhere. So, yeah, I think she said her name was Sydney. Maybe? Cynthia? Is that what she said? You seriously can't go around, dude? And there goes my door. <sighs> Don't take my door. Don't take my door. Please. Alright, get some more shit from her. What'd you say your name was, ma'am? Sydney Calebson. Sydney Calebson, okay. Mm -hmm. Just use the computer in this car, actually. How do you spell your first name? S-I-D? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's why I can't find it, because I'm used to spelling it the other way. Yeah, S-I-D-N-E-Y. So what's a person like you with a clean record out here doing street racing? Well, like I said, it's just a chance to race. That chance yeah, to race? the first chance I got to use that kind of car. Yeah, but is there, oh, yeah, like, you know yeah. it's illegal and dangerous, yet you go and do it. Is there some sort of, is there some sort of prize if you win, if you come last, or, like, what do you get if you, like... Um, well, technically I did win that, but... Technically you won. It looks like you lost in I my eyes. The, Your friend's yeah, over there bleeding no. out to death because well, you decided to shoot at a cop, and you're, you're in the back of a police well, that's car. that's not my fault. Yeah, well, this is whoever finished the track first. And, you know, I, I kind of... Made the track first, but yes, yeah, so there was a prize for it. So you guys did a legal race at a racetrack and then decided, oh, we'll go and take it out on the street. Hmm? Sorry, I had voices in my head. I said you guys decided to do a legal race out on a track, a racetrack, and then you decided, oh, we'll just go and do an illegal race out on the streets. Well, I guess I probably got bored of just going in circles too. Okay. Well, at this time you are being placed under arrest. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do may and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights? Yeah. Alright. So the purse... Do we have an ID um, on the guy that's down over there? Uh, I don't know if they've grabbed an ID yet. They're still trying to give him medical aid. Alright. Do you know what his name is? Sydney? Sydney. 
It's L and I think it's like Belushi or something like that. Some weird last name. Do you want to see if you can find an ID on him? Um, okay. Who's driving the yellow Camaro? Uh, I don't know his name. He just had some random race Facebook account that uh, made the post. The okay, what does he look like? Um, at least last time I saw him, he had a gray t-shirt, white pants, it's a white male. I think he had a tattoo or two, maybe? Hang on, gray, gray t-shirt, what else? Yeah, white pants, and he's a white male. And I think he had two tattoos. Whereabouts are the tattoos? Uh, on his arms. On both arms, or just one arm? I think he has them on both. A little dark out. Do you know what they look like? Anything that's kind of caught your eye apart from them being tattoos? Tattoos, sorry. Um... I mean, other facts on black and white. He actually had color into his tattoos. It wasn't just a black and white one. So they they color they got color in them. Okay. Yeah. So on this. That's like the only thing that caught my eye. On this phone that I took off you. Um, actually, before we go there, what color hair? Brown. The classic. Alright, so on the phone, on your mobile phone that I've taken off you, do you have his phone number in there? Mm, I don't think I have his phone number because we we're communicating through a Facebook group. So you were communicating through like Messenger or something, you're bringing each other through that? Very much. Well, that means you've got his name then, if you're friends on Facebook. Not if he doesn't use his actual name. Okay, but what name did he give? You can make up random stuff Yeah, for but what name did he give? Hmm. It was like Jack something. I don't remember what else was on there. You're gonna have to do better than that. I'm gonna open up your phone now, so you might as well just tell me. Yeah, his literal name was Jack something. So you you friended a guy on Facebook with the and his only name was Jack. Is that what you're telling me? Sorry, voices in my head again are extremely loud and they're like really distracting me. It's almost like I have a migraine that's just speaking to me. I'm opening yeah, your phone. I able to... What was that? Oh, that's nice. Uh, uh, they the, weren't uh, able to find ID on him. No ID on him. So, who, who is he, Sydney? I already told you! Yeah, you told me his name was Blushin or Blastin or something uh, like that. That's all you said. I read I rate the speed. Uh, eastbound Route 68, last postal is 944. Elwood? Uh, Malushi. Elwood, I only suspended it. Oh. He's the only one. No, I didn't, sorry. That was a different yeah, person. Yeah, Elwood Belushi. You got, uh, come up, see. got that officer? Okay, back north to the Camaro. Okay. I mean, the only one I truly know the name to was Elwood. Okay. No, I don't care. So, what what was the last name that Jack used on his Facebook? What's your passcode for this phone? There is no passcode for the phone. Okay, good. Do you use Messenger yeah, often? Off uh, like that. Oh, um, here we go. No, once in a while. 
Jack Colono. I just hit the way station at the Vinewood exit. I don't see him. All right. What what kind of other cars are we looking for, Sydney? Um, it's a white cocant. A white coca and what else? That's only actually hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold, 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 hold. Look over to the left over there, by the way. Look over to your left. Look over in that little area over there. Is not a white coca sitting over there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hmm. Um, I see a white coca over there. All right, who's driving hmm. that? Him, I don't know. He's just some one well, of the freaking. What does it look like? Popped into it. Uh, gray hair. Last time I saw him, he had a freaking. You said gray hair. Why? I don't know. Jeans. Yes. Hey, one. We're uh, arriving in the area of the racetrack. You still have yeah, jeans on. Blue jeans. Yes. Didn't we deal with a guy the other day, officer? Kind of matching that description. Car one, two, oh, two. That was the motorcycle. He has a tan shirt. Oh come like on! Um, my car just saved my life. Uh, Jeez, you might want to move. Well, I need the camera, Temple. so. Oh, eh. <laughs> Sorry, Von Lincoln. Okay, Thanks. back to the back to the guy in the white corquette. So blue jeans, traffic vest, and gray hair. Doesn't that sound familiar, officer? A tan shirt. Tan shirt. Uh, possibly? Is that the guy driving that black Tahoe? Yeah, what was his name? Bill? Bill Turner or something? Bill Turner? Bill Turner, I think? Yeah. Hmm, okay. And he was driving a white Corquette. Did he own the white Corquette? Did this um, gentleman own the Corquette? I think he does. Okay, you think he does? Good, okay. okay. I think so. We can look up Bill Turner. You want to look up Bill Turner and see if he owns a Corquette, officer? Do you have any descriptions? Yeah, I can look that up. Perfect. Okay, on to our last vehicle. What's that one? Yours? Like so what's the next vehicle? I don't know what the other guy was. Oh, I gotta remember. Hold on, I gotta remember. What freaking Ella was driving. Cause he wrecked his out. That's why he was in my car. That's what I said earlier. You might all get. You might not get any charges here if you keep helping me out. Looks like Bill Turner does in fact yeah. own a white coke. Oh, would you look at that! I'm shook. Okay, so I think the other thing was like a. I don't fucking know how you say it. The Bash A770 or some bullshit like a that? A 770. Yeah. Looks like the Mike. You said that's the car, what color is it? Fox Drive 0970. Oh, fuck. You got a play to Reno on this thing? California, that was for sure. That's a good question. Alright. I think it was like a darker blue with a red pearl coat on it. He crashed it somewhere on, I think it was coming out of Los Santos, I think. It was like on the highway somewhere, next to that giant house. All right. That sits up on, what is that, Snora Road, Snora Way, one of those two. I get them mixed up. Okay. Right, I hang out here. Have they found any of these other ones we're looking for? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, because we've got some person um, descriptions to put out, I guess. So just stand by. Metro TR1, stand by for person bolos. Be on the lookout for a white male, grey shirt, white pants, tattoos on both arms, possible colour in the tattoos. Uh, gonna have brown hair. Uh, name is Jack Colono. Second bolo is gonna be for a white corquette. Driver is grey hair, traffic vest, blue jeans with a tan shirt. Sec uh, third car is gonna be a 770 sports car, two door, black or blue with a red pearlescent. 
No person description on that. San Andreas 140 traffic. Give me northbound Fantastic Place near Oof. Slope 211 on a uh, blue and green color RV. Uh, it's a metro unit. Blue or green color RV. We saw that when we were responding to this. Did you really? Park I'm yeah. shook. Yeah, it's it, it, it looked like weird. Not be around. Out of place. Hmm. It's probably just watching everyone go oh, flying past him. That guy in their car. Where, whereabouts? Who wants that guy in their car? Ah, uh, Elwood Bl Blushy or Belushi, Belushi, Elwood Belushi. You might no, want to jump. About the person in the back of our car. Whose whose car are they going into the back of? Oh, I'll take him if you want. Are. I'll take him. Which one is yours? TI1. You might want to jump. 444 A1. Go ahead. I'll just pick one. What was the uh, motorbike just Come on out. Uh, Chopper or. David! Uh, door I did get a good look at it. From the sound of it, it was not a chopper. It would have been a. Um, Somebody's got a spider on their foot, and I don't bike. like that. 10 Whoever that is, Alright, Sydney, you're coming to my car. That's a single weapon. Yeah, yeah. Um, David needs to jump. It's alright, he'll do it in a sec. Requesting next tone rotation. Oh, was Go ahead and step out. There you go. Five. Oh. Walk with me. I, I thought my helmet was off. What the fuck happened? Do I need to take oh, it off you um, again? There you go. Magically, uh, I, I guess it magically poofed onto my head. I'm concerned. I am very concerned. Go the fuck That's around. Around. Get in. Um, yeah, I'm Go trying. Around. I'm trying. Shit. He's Don't he's too me. low. I, he's too low IQ, David. Five three five one forty. Go for TR one. I wasn't yelling at him. I was yelling at you. Ten twenty five. In relation. Your person's below. Uh, AFM. Uh, what's up, John? Hey, uh, what was your, uh, person that's below for the white male again? Um, so we have a white male, grey shirt, white pants, tattoos on both his arms, uh, possible colouring in the tattoos. Uh, he's gonna have brown hair, and his possible ID will be Jack Colono. Or, it's K-O-L-A-N-O. -O. Um... Second bolo is going to be a white corquette, driver is going to be white male, grey hair, traffic vest, blue jeans, tan shirt. Oh, okay, yeah, it's not my guy. I, I just heard white male and a, a, a blue shirt, so... Alrighty, no worries. have at it. Catch him. I wasn't even able to catch up to him, he's doing like 150 plus. Uh, are you guys all good yeah, here if I leave? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get out of here too. Okay, roger. Right position, as as he comes back south. 10-4. Metro TR1, show me en route to VPD with 110-15. Alright, we're going to go ahead and book this lady. And then we'll be back 10 I guess. It's going to be pilot air one. Step four, one twenty-eight, showing you air one. All right, guys, we're just arriving here at VPD. Where we're going to book her. All right, go ahead and step out, Sid. What the fuck? All right, follow me. I'm not even going to question the freaking Houdini magic going on here. One forty, San Andreas. We're going to be out at uh, 1050 traffic, northbound Fantastic Place at 211. And for 140, showing you on at 1050, northbound Fantastic Place. And that one said. Mm. Up against the wall or Going. back up? Oh, back up, yep. Yep. Nope. I'll say I'm already in. Yep, sorry for me, you just went in. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Who do you need magic? Yep, just hang out here, I'll be back with you, okay? I'll try and work out on some of these charges for you because you did help out, okay? 
two ten eight southbound thirteen nine five zero. All right, we're going to charge her with aggravated, reckless, and careless driving, and we're going to get her for fleeing and attempting to loot a law enforcement officer. We're not going to get her for street racing and stuff like that because she's pretty much gave me person descriptions and a possible name on one of them. She gave me car descriptions and everything like that. So we're going to let her know the good news um, of what's going on. Still there, Sydney? Yeah. All right, so I've got rid of the charges for the the street racing and all that, okay? You're not going to get charged with that. You're getting charged with fleeing and eluding, though, because it was extremely reckless, and you're still getting charged for aggressive and careless driving, okay? It's $170,000 bail. Do you want to pay that, or do you want to stand here and wait for the judge? I mean, not, I might as well just and take the time. Honestly, okay. the freaking, at this point, yeah, that wasn't even... Come over here, and I need your left thumbprint on this arrest report. Let me take my glove off real quick. Okay. All right, I, I hope you you learn a valuable lesson here because you're probably going to go to jail still for a pretty decent amount of time, okay? But I'll I'll put a word into the judge and let him know that you did cooperate and help, okay? Yeah, I, yeah, I get it. All right, um, the booking officer will be probably around the next hour and he'll probably take you over somewhere else wherever you're going, okay? Yep. All right, guys, we are going to be 10-8. Um, this is Vespucci Station. Um, this is down in the cells. There's interrogation rooms that way. Um, I'll show you as a quick look around, I guess. Uh, this way is just a foyer, like waiting room foyer kind of thing. And then this just goes out to the garage, so... And then there's a hole upstairs, like, you can go all the way up there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be 10-8 off that, guys, and yeah, we'll get back out there.